Hi, my name is Miguel Lojinha and I'm the tech lead of uh, the OpenFM environment, OE for short, a project by Aperio. In this video, I'll give you a high-level overview of what, what OE is, the project goals, the current status, and finally, how you can get involved. Let's start with the project overview. In short, OAE is a collaborative platform for academia. It's intended to be used by teachers, students, researchers, and staff in general. The main concepts of OAE are groups, content, sharing, visibility and privacy settings, notifications, etc. In general, OAE provides you the tools and the mechanisms to create different types of content, create groups, and share that content with those groups and collaborate effectively. OE provides some unique features, such as the fact that it's multi-tenant. Multi Mo being multi-tenant multi means that OE can be adopted by your institution, but still provide different instances to different departments or just different groups. Each instance can be used in an isolated way or in collaboration with another one. Another inter interesting fact of OAE is that it doesn't force you to work in a particular way using some specific process or workflow. It just provides you the tools to do your work, whatever the, the way you want, the way you need it to be done. OAE uh, includes a built-in API, which is important if your institution is looking to adopt OAE into an ecosystem of other software and other tools, not as a standalone product. This REST API allows other you know, software to query for uh, data or just provide different kinds of integration, such as LTI, for instance. Some unique features that OE provides include collaborative editing, just like Google Docs. You're able to create documents and spreadsheets and watch other people work with you in real time. OE also includes the integration of Jitsi which is an, int, um, an open source video conferencing tool that allows you to turn a group into a video conferencing room. OE is fully internationalized, it's multilingual, and also provides a responsive design that allows you to use OE with a mobile interface. Now, OE also provides not so unique features, uh, such as content management, content previews and thumbnails, group management, authentication using third-party providers, and a search, search engine that allows you to quickly search by um, your content. The project goals of OAE are mostly around enhancing academic collaboration. Like I said previously, OAE doesn't force you to work in a specific way. Instead, it provides tools and features that allow you to work any way you want. So it doesn't care about what your collaboration model is, it just provides you the mechanisms for you to work and to implement that model. Another, another interesting goal of OE is to become a friendly integration platform. It includes a REST API and other integration mechanisms that are intended to um, include OE into, another, into an ecosystem of tools and other applications and not as a standalone um, fit for all uh, tool. OE already includes some open source software uh, like Etherpad and Ethercog, which are used for real-time collaborative editing, and Jitsi, for instance. So integration, it's not just a one-way street, it's a two-way street. Another goal of OE is to foster an active community. OE is an open source project and is constantly looking for external contributors to help us move forward. Now, about the project status, the project has been active since 2009 and it currently has a very large deployment in France through the ESA Portail initiative. It currently has a very small community on GitHub, in part because of the technological stack, it's not very, very developer friendly. As you know, software is very volatile and the ecosystem quickly changes, and OE is constantly trying to uh, step up its game when it comes to the technological stack in order to attract third-party developers. The ESA Portai um, deployment currently has over 20 active tenants, 
almost 40,000 users, more than 7,000 groups, and more than 100,000 documents created. It's a very large deployment. As a project, OAE has been steadily growing its number of commits and the number of contributions. So it's pretty active when it comes to uh, updates and changes. The main project focus has been redesigning the front end. OAE has been um, an active project since 2009, and the front end is quite outdated in what comes to the software that it's built on, as well as the design. So we took the opportunity to refactor both of those. And while we're currently redesigning um, the platform, we're taking the opportunity to uh, refactoring the technological stack that powers the front end. Another project focus is to maximize the agility. And what I mean by this is we need to be constantly reducing the technological debt that is inevitable. That means tackling obsolete dependencies or outdated dependencies, and in general, just trying to make the code better and better. Another project goal is to maximize agility. By, by this, I mean reducing the technological stack and refactoring the technological uh, stack that powers OAE. OAE, being an, an active project since 2009, is built upon technologies that quickly change over time. The, the ecosystems uh, around JavaScript are very volatile, and that means that there's an extra challenge for um, keeping OAE up to date. Hopefully, by doing this, we're also making OAE more newcomer friendly so that external contributors can come and help and quickly set up their um, project and quickly uh, make contributions. Like I said, OE is currently being redesigned. While it's not in a ready state that I can showcase, um, it will be for sure the case for uh, Open Aperio 2021, at least some of the screens. So feel free to um, jump in and check out what we have to show you. Now, ways for you to get involved. OAE is always trying to gather feedback. So if you have any feedback on um, like ideas, even if they're crazy ideas, that for something that OAE should do, or just obstacles that you face while using OAE, just feel free to tell us. Also, if you're technical, feel free to um, get on GitHub and contribute with code or documentation. Documentation is especially important because as the ecosystem evolves quickly, it, it's often something that uh, gets um, left behind. And it's also the first contact that other external contributors make with the project. So it's really important to have documentation sharp. In general, feel free to ask questions and feel free to ask us for more information. To do that, you can check us out on the homepage, oeproject.org. Um, check the project blog on oeproject.org slash blog, or just um, get on the Discord channel uh, and talk to us. All right, so this is what I had for you today. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to reach us uh, if you have any questions. And please check us out on Open Period 2021. Bye.